In the counties of Boone, Kanawha, Putnam, Patrick, and Mason of West Virginia hides one of the strangest cryptids I've ever researched. It is known as the Sheep Squatch, but possibly also known as White Thing and Copenhagen Devil. While West Virginia is where a majority of sightings take place, it is worth noting that there have been accounts of people running into similar creatures as far north as New York and as far south as Alabama. The Sheep Squatch is a large quadruped that is roughly the size and build of a bear. Its head is reminiscent of a grizzly, except most accounts specifically mention that its eyes are noticeably lower. It has two goat-like horns on its head and long saber teeth. Its body is covered by dense, woolly fur that is white or very light gray in color. It has a long, hairless tail that has been described as an oversized possum tail. The creature's forepaws are similar to human hands, except clawed and padded. Most accounts state that they are similar to a raccoon's paws. The creature is also said to smell of sulfur, which many attribute to it living in the TNT area of Mason County. The sheep squatch seems to have a wildly shifting temperament. Sometimes it is aggressive, and other times it is more likely to run than engage. However, with the number of sightings that involved an aggressive sheep squatch, you would think there would be some deaths. I was not able to find any deaths associated to a large white unknown quadruped, but they could have been mistaken for attacks from another animal. Documented sheep squatch sightings started popping up in the 1900s. The first sighting is often credited to one in 1994, but while researching I came across an encounter that happened in 1900. The encounter is not really attributed to the Sheep Squatch because it took place in New York. However, it bears such a resemblance to this cryptid that I'm mentioning it anyway. This encounter was published in the Watertown Daily Times three days after it took place, on May 22nd, 1900. Two men were traveling in a horse and buggy to Copenhagen when one of them spotted a creature resting in a yard by the roadside. They stopped, and the driver climbed the fence into the yard to get a better look. After looking for a few minutes, the driver picked up a small stone and threw it at the creature. The beast jumped up and ran a bit away before stopping. At this point, the driver claims he felt an electric shock and was scared bad enough to run to the buggy. They drove away as fast as they could. Later that day, they traveled back with a third person and a lantern. They found the cryptid sitting in the middle of the road and were able to get a good look at it. The creature they described shares many similarities to the Sheep Squatch. After a few moments, the creature leaped over a nearby fence and disappeared into darkness. In 1994, former Navy Edward Rollins was out in the forest near the TNT area when he heard something rushing through the bush. A creature bearing resemblance to the Sheep Squatch appeared from the brush and moved to a creek for a drink and then moved on. He was able to watch the creature for a while, but the exact amount of time is unknown. Also in 1994, two children playing in their yard spotted the cryptid. This time the beast was able to stand on its hind legs like a bear. When it noticed the children, it ran off into the forest. In 1995, a couple traveling through Boone County spotted the creature sitting in a ditch at the side of the road. They stopped the car to get a better look. The creature they observed looked remarkably like the other descriptions of the Sheep Squatch, except one detail. This creature had four eyes. Suddenly, the beast leaped up and began to attack the car. The couple, scared for their lives, drove home. Once there, they discovered large scratch marks in the side of the car. A couple of campers had an aggressive encounter with the cryptid in 1999 while out around a bonfire. The campers claimed that they heard noises around the camp similar to a bear. Suddenly, the creature charged the campers, who ran away. The sheep squatch followed them to the edge of the forest before letting out a scream and heading back into the woods. When they returned the next morning, the campgrounds and the trail leading to it had been torn apart. In 2011, a woman named Tina was out hiking with a friend when they came across the creature. They stood still as they watched the creature move onto a rock 
where they could see it more clearly. Once again, the description matches the sheep squatch. It looked in their direction, and that's when the hikers decided to leave. They ran back to the car and drove straight home. The most recent encounter happened in 2015, when another group of campers spotted the creature at the top of a nearby hill. It noticed the campers and began running down the hill toward them when it was stopped by a river. After a few minutes, the cryptid began wading through the water after them. Just as it had gotten out of the river, a loud screech was heard from the forest. The beast let out a whimper and ran off in the direction of the noise. The campers packed their things and left. The campers' identities were never revealed, because they feared the ridicule it might bring. This cryptid could be a myriad of things, from an albino bear to a misidentified goat. In fact, after looking at a few pictures of bears, it is easy to see how the front paws would be mistaken as human-like. Even the teeth of a bear when it roars look almost like saber teeth. The only thing I can't really find a good explanation for are the horns. Still, it gives me another reason to avoid the woods. The sheep squatch could be out there, watching, if it ever existed.